everybody. We've got Violet here with us. We're doing her litter announcement. Um, she's looking very prego. She's got her belly bump going on and is feeling really good other than she's feeling like she's gonna have some pups. So she's a little bit subdued, not quite as active at the moment, but that's okay. We want her to kind of take it easy. And uh, we just wanted to show off her little belly bump. She's gonna be our first to deliver here early part of July. And so we're excited that that's just around the corner for us and we wanted to kind of show her off to you. We'll do the others here in a second. Um, the build on Violet is medium range. She's a full-size Vizsla, but uh, at the same time, she's not super blocky. She's not super narrow um, as far as her build goes either. She's quite middle range. A little bit darker in her coat color and uh, just as sweet as can be all in all. So we're really happy with Violet and we're excited about her pups coming up. We've bred her with River and we'll do a little video of River here in just a little bit. Uh, to kind of show him off to you as well. And so I'm going to see if Violet's going to turn over and maybe show off her belly bump a little bit. It just got done raining, does that a lot here in Kentucky. And so um, it's a little bit wet on the ground. We'll see if she'll lay down a little bit still and uh, show off her belly bump. You want to lay down for us? You want to lay down for some belly scratches? Come on. Come on, do you want to lay down? Okay. She'll do it. Oh, good girl. Okay, lay down. Lay down. Good girl. Good girl. So we've got her belly bump going. If you know anything about Vislas, they are not built very big at all. So they've usually got their tuck going up, up there, and she is very full. She's very full of pups and doing really good that way. So there's got to be a good number of pups in there, and she's doing really well with that so we're excited so okay you can get up out of the mud you can get up girl you can get up we're just hanging out oh come she's here. gonna go hang out with katie in the camera you're gonna push me over come here. trying to get me snuggles come here boy <laughs> come on come back good girl we're just oh you're gonna lay down again for some more belly scratches it's okay you can you can sit up now this is uh we're just up here on one of the spots of our land and uh, just enjoying a little bit of sunshine now uh, after the rain. So anyways, we'll go get uh, the others and show them off next. Oh, and by the way, a little tip, if you want to get some jingle, jingle bells at the uh, Hobby Lobby and put them on a key ring on their collars, that's a great way to uh, give the wildlife in the area a um, fair chance when you're um, out with your dog. So. It gives you a way to hear them if you can't see them and uh, it gives the wildlife fair warning that they're on their way too. So we do that with our dogs here and it seems to work out good. So anyways, uh, we'll get on with the next video. So we've got Brooke here and uh, she's very prego as well. She's about a week to 10 days behind Violet and she loves her belly scratches. So she's just gonna lay right down in the mud for us. Huh, you just love that. And if we don't give her enough attention, she's gonna let us know it. She loves to beg for scratches and loves, huh? That's a good girl, Brooke. That's a good girl. So you can see her belly bump. She's pretty full of pups. And uh, like I said, she's even a week to 10 days behind uh, Violet and looking just about every bit as prego as Violet is. Um, even though she's not quite as far along. Um, that might also be because she's just a little bigger um, of a Vizsla all around. She's a little blockier and a little stockier than Violet is. So she's a little wider in the head for a uh, blockier head. And then build wise, she's just a little bit wider um, through her shoulders and her hips and whatnot. So she's just an overall little bit bigger dog, about the same height as Violet but just a little bit wider and stockier build. So she is a little bit lighter um, coat color wise. And so Violet's one of our darker Vizslas. And then Brooke here is middle range um, as far as uh, color goes. She's right in the middle as far as being a little bit lighter and a little bit darker, right in the middle there. So, and then personality wise, just a sweetie too. 
We just love all of our gals. We're biased on all of them, obviously, but uh, she's a great beastler. So we love her and we're excited about her new pups coming up and see how those turn out. We've bred her also with River. And so she and Violet uh, pair up really well with River. And what we're looking for as far as confirmation goes, their uh, size um, is a big determining factor for us. And so her size and Violet's size match up really well with River's bigger size too. So, huh, you got some dirt on you, but you're still pretty. We still love you. Anyways, so that's a little bit about Brooke and we'll go get uh, our next one and bring her up and do a little bit of a quick video with her. So I'll be right back. Hi, hi, good girl, good girl. Anyways, um, this is our sweet pea and uh, she's still full of pep. She's not nearly as subdued as Brooke and Violet are at this point. She's still the full Vizsla power going on, still very active, moving around. You can tell that Brooke and Violet are a little more subdued at this point in their pregnancies. They're really starting to slow down a little bit. Um, Sweet Pea, however, still going strong. She is probably a week to 10 days behind Brooke. So she could be a couple weeks to three weeks uh, behind Violet in her pregnancy. So she's just barely to the stage where she's starting to show. And I'll see if I can get her to, she sees things off in the woods here. Um, I'll see if I can get her to show off her belly. Maybe you can't see that from that side right there. She's starting to bag up a little bit. And uh, come on, come on. You wanna kiss the <laughs> camera woman, Hi. huh? Yeah, I like to kiss her too. <laughs> huh. Katie's got the camera. <laughs> Sweet Pea just wants to get some attention from her. So anyways, we'll try to get some shots of her belly bump. Um, she's just barely, like I said, to the point where she should be starting to show. Come here, come on, show off her to camera. I'm gonna see if I can tip her up a little bit with her legs, see if we can show off. So this is her belly bump. <laughs> I don't um, think I got it. We'll try again, I'll lift her up. Come on, I know, you just want to go play. To face the camera to this is the play place, huh? Why should you have to? Okay, so right down through here is their normal tuck that they have as a visla, and she's just starting to have a little bit of a belly coming down down there, and she's starting to bag up just a tiny bit. So we're thinking her pregnancy took, and uh, she should be having her pups to the, the later to the last part of July. And uh, she's still full Vesla power, huh? So size wise, um, Sweet Pea is one of our smaller Vieslas. Um, she's a little bit shorter than Violet and Brooke. She's still a full size Vesla, not undersized at all. And a uh, little bit narrower in the head, not as blocky as Brooke, and even a little bit narrower in the head than Violet. And then her coat color, she's the lightest out of these three. Um, she's a little bit lighter than Brooke, and Brooke is a little bit lighter than Violet. And so, coat color, um, she's still got that golden hue to her. She's not really blonde at all, um, which blonde isn't a bad thing, just a matter of preference. And so, um, but this is our sweet pea. She's just a wonderful Vizsla, lots of pep and um, spice in her life, huh? You're just an active one. So she's still feeling all of her zest of life still. She hasn't really slowed down. But uh, we're excited to do her litter announcement video and introduce her to you. Huh. She's just a great, great beastla. We're just excited about how her pups are gonna go. Um, we've paired her with our Cliff. Um, she's gonna <laughs> bump my face, I know. I'm just not giving you near enough attention. Why should I talk to a video and not pet you, huh? And so we paired her with our Cliff, and so she matches up good um, with her size and Cliff's size. We feel like um, that's a good pairing that way. And so, hey, come back here. Come back here. This video is all about you. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, I know. 
Good girl. So we are going to uh, go get uh, Cliff and River and do a little, uh, little bit of an intro to them so you can kind of see them a little bit. So here is our sweet pea. So we've got our cliff on my left. He's the one with the kind of brown lead on. And then we've got River on my right. He's the one with the blue collar and lead. And uh, we just wanted to show off our two boys side by side so you can kind of see them a little bit uh, from a different perspective as far as some of their uniqueness and their differences. Um, River's quite large. He's tall and then he's blocky as well. And uh, He's a definitely maximum size for a male Vizsla. This is about the larger side of the spectrum that you could expect from pups out of him. And then um, Cliff over here, he is middle range for a male Vizsla. He's not small by any means, just not, uh, not as tall, not as full of a build. Um, tiny bit narrower across his skull and leaner, um, thinner, across his shoulders and then his hips. And so, um, and then he's a little bit lighter uh, colored than River. River is uh, a darker um, Vizsla. And so he's he's got the darker coat between the two. Is the camera making uh, you nervous? You gotta fly above your eye. River just wants to eat the camera, huh? Can you see the blinking light on it? I bet that's what you love, huh? So, um, and then Cliff is a little bit lighter. Um, he's definitely um, a more fit Vizsla. He's like a muscle man as far as Vizslas go. He's got his veins popping out, huge muscles. So he's very a very fit uh, Vizsla. Don't, don't mean and uh, River's not uh, necessarily obese or anything like that. He's just not um, as defined as far as some of his muscular build goes. And so... They're both excellent Vizslas. Um, very uh, good temperaments. Oh, no, not the camera. Come here, come here, River. You gotta stay by me. You're gonna have to get some love from Katie in a minute. I know, I know. Anyways, uh, these are our two male Vizslas and uh, we're very pleased with them. And how their pups turn out. We've had good success with all of our pups, and so we're excited to see how these next round of pups turn out with them. So, come boys, come boys. Come boys.